Hi, everyone. I'm Rich Scheibner. And I'm Liz Chamberlain. We're co-editors of Inventio. We're serious about the how of digital media scholarship. In Inventio, authors interrogate how their digital scholarship came to be. And as Inventio editors, we invite you to participate in this series. Reach out to us anytime at the Kairos email listed below. We also plan to reach out to more authors as the series continues. Until then, thanks for watching. Lots of research is like sometimes procrastinating, sometimes going down rabbit holes. Sometimes it, I think it's not really wasted time because I'm kind of percolating and digesting and, and so on. For this project, because it involves software, then a lot of my time is trying to figure out how to make the software do what I, what I want it to. I looked at some, you know, uh, uh, other simple twine games. Uh, I was inspired a little bit by uh, uh, Stuart Moltrup is a is a elit writer um, who I admire, and he was experimenting with um, doing some stuff with with twine chapbook, um, and uh, a woman named Lyle Skeins in the UK. Uh, also doing stuff, a lot of stuff with Twine, and um, I got some pointers from her. And I just tried to look at what I thought other, just what other interactive fiction in general, what it was doing, I guess. Well, both. It's fun to look at and see what other people are doing. Uh, and it's always a means to an end for me because uh, the medium that I'm writing in is always uh, part of what I'm exploring. So in this case, I wanted to um, not just use Twine, but kind of, you know, um, uh, interrogate it or, or um, uh, look at the medium itself. And so there's, I always have the purpose of, uh, so the medium is always influencing, um, my content at the same time. Yeah. Um, it's definitely, uh, it's definitely evolved because I'm now retired or semi-retired. So I have, um, you know, more time to focus on my writing, which also means more time to, to procrastinate because that's the main thing that writers do in my <laughs> experience or for me, sometimes it's useful procrastination, I guess. When I was writing my hypertext novel, I was doing an MFA, having two young kids, uh, being a resident fellow with a, at a dorm at Stanford and teaching and administering all at the same time. And somehow, so my writing process was little, wherever I could find time early in the morning, a little bit on the weekend. Um, and so I guess it's always been find a way, make the time, no matter what. I think get feedback has always getting feedback for my work has always been part of my process. Find uh, trusted readers and in final stages of revision um, read my work aloud. Uh, and uh, that's another, you know, another way to learn a different angle on your stuff is how does it sound and does it, how does it read? I want, you know, stuff to be able to, to sound good read aloud uh, yeah. and uh, that an audience could listen to it and, and, uh, and enjoy it. Yes, I hit up against my limitations with how much am I willing to master the software versus 
getting something done. And that's always a trade-off to me. Uh, I don't want to be a software developer. I don't want to spend all my time learning software. I want to write. And so I want to write in tools that I know. I wanted it to do certain things that I never couldn't figure out how to do, like have the links change color after you visit the space. I would have ideally made the navigation um, uh, different if I knew how to make Chapbook do it, you know, do what I wanted it to do. Chapbook is either limited or I'm limited in how, what I could make Chapbook do. Uh, and it would have, you know, done some of the formatting differently. So mostly the formatting and the navigation. I guess in terms of advice, it's just if, if you want to be a writer, you just have to keep find a way to just keep doing it. You just have to be determined. Um, there's lots of people that have talent that they just, you know, they don't they're not determined to just keep doing it keep uh, plugging away what however you need to do it maybe be patient with yourself i know that when i'm in the procrastination mode it's because i know i'm not sure how to move forward and i haven't hit on the thing during the procrastination phase i'm endlessly researching winograd schemas and endlessly looking at, you know, twine documentation until I uh, find a way forward. I don't know if I have any help other than being patient with yourself until you find the thing that clicks for you, that, um, uh, that moves you forward. Well, you know, I think it's the percolating, you know, and there's this, these cognitive things, too, that that they tell us, like when you shut your brain down, when you're, you're struggling with whatever it is you're working on. And then when you go for a walk or for me, it's like swimming and then you just shut your brain down. And that's when you allow connections to be made, uh, maybe less on the conscious level, but but your brain's still working. And if you're a writer and you really want, you're motivated because you want to write something, well, you're going to be working on those subconscious things all the time. And they'll, and so you, you got to let yourself, you know, go do those things, go take that walk, go do whatever it is. And, um, uh, and, 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 uh, so, so I, I, I agree. I mean, I think for me, the, the procrastination is just, it's just part of the process. I've just come to accept it.